friends, colleagues, speakers, and dear guests, my name is Zaev Shoam. I'm one of the co-organizers of this meeting, and I wish to welcome you to this Congress. <clears throat> On behalf of the other co-chairmen, Michael Alper, Milton Leong, Yesha Sivan, and Miron Schatz Talia, I want to welcome you to the first IVF Worldwide Congress on the Digital World. The website of IVF Worldwide Com was established three years ago with the goal to bring together all IVF Worldwide units into a network to improve research, education in this field. The internet and mobile computing are quickly transforming the delivery of care, clinical management, and the science and practice of IVF. Knowing how to leverage such emerging technologies is essential for clinicians, scientists, administrators, and information technology professionals. The Congress aims to help IVF professionals, both survey and novice, gain practice knowledge, strategies, and tactics on how to apply information technology to optimize patient care and their operations. The idea behind this Congress is to bring experts in the various fields of the internet to educate us in order to allow us to increase online presence and visibility, to grow medical practice through social media and direct to consumer marketing, to increase knowledge and awareness of patients' needs and priorities, to promote patient understanding and compliance, to support patients by creating online communications, to reduce workload and streamline process by creating online guidelines for patients, and to expand reputation nationwide and worldwide and reach patients outside the current network. For this reason, we brought to this program the best people in the field, and we have built a program which we hope that at the end of the day, everybody who attends this Congress will be able to take the knowledge learned here to increase his ability to use the internet in a better way. I encourage you to talk with each other and us to make this experience valuable and to guide us in our next step. I hope that we will have a successful and education course. And I would like to invite one of my co-chairmen, Professor Milton Leong, with whom we create and build the IVF World Science. Thank you, Seth. I'm Milton Leong, I'm from Hong Kong. Uh, you know, after, apart from echoing what um, my co-chairman, uh, Seth, said, I'd just like to say uh, I don't have a slide. My baggage, unfortunately, did not follow me to Berlin yet. Um, we, you know, have in medicine have used to doing things, you know, very two-dimensional. And I think the, I would like to, the discussion to invite you have more discussion and more thoughts on the work life. You know, I think that for patient care and for information, we have to go to more multimedia. And there are lectures and there are in this conference that will lead us more to this type of interaction. And I hope that if we can make this concept of making medical treatment and medical, medical, medical formats, you know, a life instead of just dead on paper. You know, we should plan on doing multimedia, we should have to go to clinical interactive apps, clinical interactive, so you know, our patients can come to us and we, to, we are behaving like real persons instead of just on paper, you know, uh, patient-doctor relationship. And I hope you um, will have, and we all will have a very nice meeting and uh, and I thank you all for coming. And now I would like to invite Dr. Michael Helper. Thank you.
Thank you, Milton. My name is Michael Alper, and I'm from uh, Boston, uh, Massachusetts, in the United States. But it was interesting that uh, just in a, I just have a couple of minutes of uh, thoughts to share with you. When Zev asked me uh, what I thought about a, a Congress devoted to information technology, the first reaction that I had was, what took so long? If you think about it, why, uh, why has it taken our field, IVF, so long to really adopt some of the technologies that are being used every day in uh, other fields? And my thinking is, is that in the last few years, things have become much less expensive, like phones and computers, internet. So it's, they've become more widespread. If you don't have the slides, it's not critical. Um, uh, but things have become much cheaper. A uh, cell phone in 1984 was $4,000. An iPhone now is 400 euros or close to that. Um, millions of people are now on the internet and the usage is increasing uh, exponentially. So things have become cheaper, more widespread, and a result, if things become cheaper, everybody can own them and have them, so they want to commu communicate with us uh, using them. So I think the, the timing of this meeting is, uh, is excellent. I think the idea is a great one. And I hope uh, that I can learn uh, from others' experiences as well. Thank you.